What's up you guys? Uh, Riley here again and uh, today I'm back here with a video kind of showing you how I'm gonna start growing some passion flower seeds or passion fruit. I really, I've tried this fruit before and I tried it out of the country and I really liked it so now that I was able to find a local brand like surprisingly I found them golfing and it's like I just found, found a fruit hanging up and I took two back, kept the fruit uh, until it fully ripened and then harvested the seeds and then tried multiple ways of uh, trying to cultivate the seeds but uh, uh, you'll be happy to know that I actually am doing pretty well in that process so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the few steps so uh, stick around like subscribe uh, if you like a lot of the content and uh, let's get to it okay with this uh, first process I have placed these uh, seeds on a strainer after letting them ferment for two to three weeks kind of like this uh, The way I save tomato seeds and then I use a sprayer to kind of spray the seed pulp off All right here those are not the same seeds But this is another batch of seeds that I started several weeks ago where I just let the pulp I kind of sprayed the pulp off and as the pulp dried out I would replace the napkin every two to three days. The little white bits that you see on there is a little bit of rooting hormone that I thought would uh, kind of help the process. So, you know, that might just be a fool's a goal, but uh, I just thought it would help. But I did get, was able to get one or two seeds to sprout and one to kind of continue growing after all. So I'm just going to keep replacing the napkin every so many days in the water to keep the mold protection down i mean keep the mold protection up and then uh see where i go from there after changing out the napkin i'll put it in a plastic bag with a little water and i'll leave it on top of my dryer so that when i use it throughout the week it'll provide heat for it during the winter here is another seedling that has begun to sprout out of the ones that from the first bag that i showed you of course this isn't related to the first one i showed at the beginning and here's a seedling from the seedling pack from the previous two shots. And um, it's not the one from the previous shot, but it is one of the first ones that was able to sprout. And I've just kept it in a bag, kind of left the bag slightly open, but while it's in like a little mini pot and just kind of made sure to give it some sun and then also giving it some time on my dryer as well so it can kind of get some heat in. Right now it's about two weeks old and it's, uh, Hopefully I can have something that's uh, producing and helping my other passion uh, fruit plant uh, uh, pollinate in the spring. This is just another example of how easy it is to get into gardening. If you want to grow something, just try it. There's nothing that could really hurt, be hurt by you just trying to attempt these type of things and learning along the way. Again, here, we, these are the seeds that you saw in the first shot earlier. Um, I'm making the I'm putting these on a napkin and I'm just gonna put a napkin over it and then I'm gonna fold it over So you see the pulp is still on these uh, But when you remember the other shot of the other seeds the pulp was off of there So I'm gonna keep changing out the napkins each day just to kind of remove more and more pulp until it's just it, there is just a more hospitable environment for the seeds to grow and less of a hospitable environment for the mold to grow but yeah, you guys, that's a wrap on this video. I want to thank all my subscribers and viewers, anyone that takes the time to like and comment. It really means a lot to me. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. If you guys have any questions or anything you would like me to see to do or do in future videos, please let me know. Otherwise, have a wonderful rest of your day and an awesome rest of your week. See you guys soon. You guys are awesome.